let's have a look at question one a in this video. So we have a claim that a student spends on average $650 per month and we want to test whether that's accurate or not. And for this we take a sample of 61 students, a random sample. Now we have to make a 95% confidence interval. Now before doing that, let's just write down the data. What matters here? We think that the student spend $650. So we have a hypothesis, which, you call, which we call the null hypothesis, that the average spending is 650. Now we, we take the sample and we look at the data. We have 61 observations. So we have 61 observations. We have an average, a mean of 615. So we usually know the mean of the sample. This is the mean of the sample. Uh, 615.107. And then we have a standard deviation also for the sample, which we note as S. S equals to 125.695. Now, how can we build a 95 confidence interval? And what does a 95% confidence interval show us? Now, look, in statistics, as, as, um, as always, we are trying to predict or we are trying to estimate something based on data that we have. So because we don't know exactly how much the students in the population spend, we estimate but by our sample, which means that the average that we find, for instance, in this case, our average of the sample of how much they spend per housing is going to be just an estimate of the population average. It's not going to be exact. So the average of the sample is never exact to the population sample, to, uh, sorry, to the population average. That's why we make a confidence interval because we allow for a range of possible values where we have the population average. So the confidence interval at 95%, confidence interval at 95% shows us a certain range of values. We're going to have here two values in which we will have the actual population mean in 95% of the samples that we draw. So if we draw 100 samples in 95 of them, we will have the population mean included in that range. Note that confidence interval, although it has the word confidence in it, we don't say that we are 95% confident of that. Like we are not 95% confident. We only are, we, we can only say that we will have the actual population mean in 95 out of 100 samples, out of 100 random samples that we would draw. And that's a, a clear difference between saying that we are 95% confidence. In statistics, we, we never say like how confident we are. We just say, this is the confidence interval that we're having. This is the range that we're using. So with that said, let's actually compute this confidence interval because the X bar is not equal to the population average. We will allow for a possible margin of error. We will always deviate from a certain value. So we'll use the average that we have in our sample plus minus a certain margin of error. And now the question is, what is that margin of error? Well, the margin of error we compute as, let me write it here, x bar plus minus z critical value at the 95% level times the sample standard deviation divided by square root of n. Now, one thing I'd like to note, although we use here the sample standard deviation and we use the z critical value, that might, that might be, you know, as a, as a confusion because we all know that usually if we have a sample data, sample standard deviation, we should be using the t critical values. But in statistics, if we have a sample which is above 30 observations, so when we have a sample that has more than 30 observations, then the sample standard deviation is an estimate of the population standard deviation. That's, that's something that we, we just, you know, uh, take as a rule of thumb. So in this case, whether we apply the sample standard deviation also works because that's going to be an estimate of the population standard deviation. So the rest is just pure math. The rest is, is nothing complicated. It's just working with numbers. So we know that, let me zoom out to have a better picture of everything. Uh, here, go up. So the average of the, of the sample is 615. 615.107 plus minus the critical value at 95% level is 1.96 times the sample standard deviation is 124.695 divided by square root of n square root of 61 from here. 
And if we do the math, if we compute, then we will have a confidence interval in the following range from uh, 583.8 until 646.4. So that means that in 95% of random samples that we can draw, of random samples that we can draw of the size of 61 observations of random samples that we can draw in 95% of those the actual population mean will be included in that range the mu, the, mu, the actual population average uh, is included in the range is included in the range and that's it we are done